previous videos, I mentioned kernel when applying Gaussian blur. In this video, I will talk about what a kernel is and how they are useful for graphics. So let's begin with a quick introduction to the idea of kernel. In this graph, you can see on the left hand side, we get a 2D plane with red dots and purple dots. The orange circle in the middle of the graph can separate red dots and purple dots. Now we apply a method, we call it phi AB, and the result after applied phi AB would be the graph on the right hand side here. You can see the function phi AB actually performs a transformation from R2 to R3, and after the transformation, now we can separate red dots and purple dots by using a linear method, which is 2D plane in R3. So this method, we call it kernel trick. The idea of kernel trick is to perform a transformation such as function phi will perform the transformation from x to v. It's not necessary that kernel must change the dimension of input. We can apply any kind of kernel based on what we need. In graphic processing, kernel usually perform a transformation between 2D plane and our kernel is usually a matrix. In graphic processing, kernel is the convolution between two matrix. Take Gaussian kernel I used as an example. By using the sub function of MATLAB, we can see the shape of Gaussian kernel. After applying Gaussian kernel by using infilter of MATLAB, it performs Gaussian blur to the original image. So let's check the workplace here. You can see Gaussian kernel is actually 37 by 37 double matrix. And let's input our original image. And in here, you can see image is a three-dimensional matrix. So apply it in filter. This is a function could apply kernel to original image matrix. In graphic processing, once you define a kernel, which is usually a matrix, apply the convolution to the matrix for the original image. A new image will be built based on the result of convolution that just applied. So in filter is a built-in function that based on the convolution. And there's actually multiple methods in MATLAB that you could apply kernel to the image that you want to process because in filter is based on convolution. So you can just directly use convolution to function, which is also a built-in function in MATLAB. Now, this kernel we're going to use is the box kernel, which I have already used in previous video. And after running this section, you can see in the workplace, box kernel is a 7x7 seven seven matrix. And after apply the convolution to and run the section, you can see the image is already different than the original image. This is also an example of apply kernel to a graphic. In this video, we explain what kernel trick is. Also, the application of kernel in MATLAB using kernel function to transform data into a required form of data, you can just easily solve problems with easier methods. Hope this video is helpful.